Well, it was in 1989, and the internet already existed and that you could send email, but there was no websites, so there was no HTTP, there was no HTML, there was no space or things you could click through. And it began because I was frustrated it didn't exist. <coughs> I imagined a system where you could just click from one to the other, and that was so compelling that I decided that I wanted to uh, build it. I'm proud of the spirit of collaboration, which was the last 25 years. You know, it wasn't just me. I had the idea, right? I invented it. And then, in fact, it was taken up by all kinds of people over the world. I get an email from somebody saying, hey, Tim, I've set up a web server with a dinosaur exhibit on it or something. Or, hey, I've got an art exhibit. And these people, you know, I didn't know them. Uh, and they all collaborate together. Trying to, and the, we have the World Wide Web Consortium where they, people come, companies come. They're trying to make the technology better, trying to make it a better basis for designing really cool websites. That spirit of international collaboration has been absolutely awesome for the last 25 years. If you actually think the power you have when you have a web browser compared to the power of somebody who doesn't, if you're starting a company, you want to start a company in New York, and you just you think of a name of a company, and you search for it on the web, and if the company or is already be, the names have already been thought of, ah, you try another one. You're in an African village, and you don't have a web browser. No, you can't do that. You can start a company, and then it doesn't tell <laughs> Long time later, you realize that somebody else has done it somewhere else. There's lots, you know, but lots of little things you, we do to do with health, to do with uh, just keeping a family together, communicating with friends. So the, the, so the difference in power between somebody who's got the internet and somebody, uh, somebody who hasn't is now huge. Also really important for democracy. If you are not connected to the internet, how is your voice going to be heard? How are you going to make sure that the values which you think are important are, going to be, are being represented by all the governments out there? It's 25 years on. We need to think about the next 25 years to make sure that we establish these the principles that the web's been based on. Principles of openness, principles of privacy, principles of not being censored, for example.